Hello and welcome to this healing Reiki session for the root chakra. Now I know I've been MIA for a bit but I have just been going through my own personal growth cycles and now that I'm saying goodbye to the end of one cycle I find myself welcoming in the beginning and the start of a new cycle so I thought what better way than to start this new cycle with introducing my viewers to the healing energy healing of Reiki the last Reiki video I published was just a general introduction on what Reiki is all about and I can post the link for that video in the description box if you're interested in checking it out. At the time when I filmed that Reiki video, I had only received my level 1 Reiki attunements but now at the start of this video I have now received my Reiki level 2 attunements which means I can now start sharing the gift of Reiki with you, the viewers, and anybody else who feels called to experience a Reiki treatment. I do have intentions of going for my Reiki master degree uh, pretty soon and I'm looking forward to that. But for right now, I am just going to start sharing this healing gift with everyone that I know because um, as I mentioned in my last video if everybody on this entire planet practice Reiki we could raise the entire vibration of the world and probably end a lot of suffering that's happening right now so I have my notes here with me so if you guys see me looking down I'm just making sure that I have everything here that I need to say all feedback is welcome and so if you enjoy this video please do go ahead and leave a comment let me know if you want to see more of my videos as I post go ahead and click that subscribe button and you can also turn on your notifications so you'll be notified as to when I post any new videos so without further ado let's get into this healing session so I'm just going to invite you to get as comfortable as you possibly can. Now you might want to just sit comfortably, comfortably like what I'm doing, so cross-legged on the floor on a cushion. You can sit on a chair um, if that's more comfortable or if you'd like, I invite you to lay on the floor on a comfortable blanket or on a bed or any surface that you feel comfortable you might want to grab a few cushions for your head or your back and you might want to grab a blanket just in case where you are right now is a bit cold I apologize I am in Costa Rica in the jungle of Ohuchal and so if you hear any birds or any animal sounds then I apologize in advance but I do feel like the animals will add a bit of character to this video. So enjoy a little bit of Costa Rica as I share this video with you. So I invite you to just get as comfortable as you possibly can, uh, at least for the next 30 minutes. If you can be undisturbed, that would be absolutely perfect. Otherwise, I am going to begin this session. So I'm just going to go ahead and light some Palo Santo. For those of you who aren't familiar with Palo Santo, it is a medicinal wood that is found and harvested in most countries in Central America and South America, in particular Peru. And what it's meant to do is to clear and cleanse the energies in a space and it's also meant to help to open up the nervous system so that it could be receptive to Reiki and that's essentially what we want we want the body to feel relaxed as we ask Reiki to 
come in and assist us with any blocks to our root chakra. So I'm just going to go ahead and send you guys some of the smoke. And I invite you to just relax. Pay attention to how your body feels as you lay on the floor or as you sit with your feet on the ground. Maybe you can relax your jaw. Maybe you can relax your shoulders a bit. Maybe you can relax your ankles. And I'm just going to ask you to take three deep cleansing breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The last one. Inhale. Exhale. Ah, through the mouth. Ah. Now see if you can make yourself a little more comfortable. Maybe just a tad bit comfortable. A tad bit more comfortable. Now I'm just going to go in with my selenite wands. The selenite crystals are amazing purification crystals and they're just going to help me to cleanse your aura so i invite you to close your eyes if you haven't already and i am just going to go over your aura with the selenite ones just just to smooth out and identify where there might be any gaps in your aura that needs to be sealed so as i do this you can enjoy the beautiful jungle sounds that nature is providing us right now. Lovely, you're doing great. I invite you to just stay relaxed. Focus on the breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now I'd like to invite you to set an intention. This doesn't have to be anything grand. It doesn't have to be anything over the top. Just simply set an intention for why it is you thought you needed to click on this video and why it is you felt as though that a root chakra clearing would be ideal for you right now. If you can't think of one, I invite you to use the intention, I intend to become grounded.
Now that we have cleansed your auras, I am just going to go over each of your chakras just to open you up and to create a bit of balance just to make sure that the energies that we are calling in will reach the places that they absolutely need to. And although my intention is for this to be a root chakra clearing, a Reiki might decide that they'd like to clear some of your other chakras. So I'm just going to go in with my wands again and I am just going to open up each of your chakras. Keeping your eyes closed and your bodies relaxed, listen to the jungle sound as I pass over each of your chakras. Starting at the crown chakra. The crown chakra is our connection to source. This is where you receive all of your cosmic downloads, all of your cosmic intentions, all of your universal wisdom. This is the chakra that helps us to stay connected to Source, to God. However you identify the highest Source, the Creator. Moving down to your third eye chakra. This is where your intuition lives. This is your inner voice. This is your inner knowing. This is how you view yourself, how you visualize, and how you're able to manifest those visions. Moving down to the throat chakra. This is your voice. This is how you communicate. This is how you communicate to yourself and to others. And this is also where you manifest. Moving down to the heart chakra, this is the bridge, this is the gateway between our higher chakras, our intuitive gifts, and our lower chakras, the energy centers that keep us grounded and connected to Mother Earth. Moving down to your solar plexus chakra. This is how you view yourself. This is self-expression, self-worth, self-esteem. Now I am moving to your sacral chakra. Spirit is telling me that some of you may benefit from some love in the sacral chakra, so I'm just going to stay here for a minute and just continue to open and balance this chakra. And now I am at the root chakra, which is the chakra that houses how we feel about or earthly resources so our money our stability our families our relationships all the things that we build our foundations on now that i have gone in and balanced your chakras i'm just gonna play this bell just to remove any lingering stagnant energies just to clear out any lingering energies in the chakras that may need to be removed beautiful You guys are doing so well. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the Reiki symbols so we can call in the Reiki energy to assist us in this root chakra healing.
so I'm just about to channel the Reiki energy through to your body and into your root chakra. To do this, I'm just going to use light, fluttering finger movements as I channel the Reiki energy through your body. At this time, if you can focus your attention on the root chakra, which is located right above your sacrum. I would say it's right where your tailbone is, right where the top of your pelvis meets the tailbone. You could just bring your awareness to that area. I want you to go ahead and imagine that there is a small red light, really small, and each time you inhale and exhale, that red light gets bigger and bigger. As it's growing, you might want to begin to imagine that there are tiny little roots growing from the root chakra into the ground. As far deep into the ground as they can go. And with each inhale, I want you to draw in the energy of the earth. You'll feel it. It feels as though it's pulling you downwards. It's pulling you downwards from this area into the ground. I want you to pull up that energy. And in each exhale, I want you to release any energy that just doesn't feel right. It's sticky, it's heavy, it's scratchy, it's bothersome, it's just doesn't feel right. Whatever energies you feel you want to release, just let it go with each exhale through the roots into the earth. And with each inhale, draw up the Mother Earth energy, and with each exhale, releasing any tension, any negative energy. And you can do this for a couple of rounds, as long as it feels good. Whatever feels good for you right now, whatever helps you to stay relaxed, I invite you to keep your eyes closed and just relax. Collectively, at this moment, we are all being challenged. Our root chakras are all being challenged. And we're all being asked simply to reassess our relationships, all the relationships in our lives, the relationships we have with ourselves, the relationships we have with our loved ones, the relationships we have with our family, the relationships we have with our friends, our pets, the relationships we have with strangers, 
the relationships we have to our money, to our business, to our home life, to our school life, to our kids. We're all being challenged to view how we show up in these relationships externally and how we view these relationships internally and whether or not the way we look at things and the way we feel are in balance and the reason why our root chakra might feel out of balance is because we have two conflicting ideals about what is and what we want. It's important, however, to remember that what is is exactly what needs to be. And if there is something that just isn't working, then simply set an intention for that thing to become aligned. And that is what this Reiki session will do. We will invite the universal life force energy to realign us, to help us to understand what relationships need better boundaries, which relationships need some reassessment, and how can they align with how we feel inside. Remember, the internal world dictates the external world. And so in order to understand what we really need to change or what we really need to adjust, We need to focus our energy inwards. What are the changes that we need to make to feel more stable, to feel more secure at a time when the stability of the entire world is being challenged. There's so much going on right now. So much. <sighs> but Reiki is here. And I know we're all feeling a bit imbalanced. But the fact that you're doing this beautiful energy healing for yourself shows that you are committed to raising the consciousness of the collective. Now if any thoughts or questions or patterns that are coming into your awareness at this time and if there are any sensations that you are feeling at the root chakra so at the tailbone right above the sacrum I'm inviting you to I'm inviting you to give that feeling a color what color is it? And after you've given it a color, maybe you can give it a texture. Is it rough? Is it smooth? Is it grainy? Maybe you can give it a feeling. Is it heavy? Does it tingle? Maybe you're feeling some light flutters as I 
focus the Reiki energy on your root chakra. Some of you might even feel a pull or a pluck. I am going in now and I will start to pluck away those feelings. With each pluck, you might feel a release, a sensation. Pluck. Pluck. doing so well. We're almost finished. We're almost at the end. Pluck. Pluck. The energy here is so stubborn. <laughs> but we have to be patient with ourselves. I invite you to relax just a little bit more as I pluck away that feeling of heaviness, tenderness. Pluck. Pluck. Now I'm just going to focus the Reiki energy on the root chakra. And I just want you to continue to stay relaxed. Allow the subtle healing of Reiki to move through each and every single cell in your body re-establishing and recreating a new cellular memory. One where these thoughts and these feelings and this heaviness is no longer. It's gone. Any resistance, it's gone. Any worries you may be having about our finances, about our home, about our stability or security, and even our basic necessities like food, water, clothing, all of those thoughts, all of those thoughts are now gently being reprogrammed, refreshed, rebooted, updating the software with the help of Reiki. In this session, I am just gonna go back over with the selenite ones to just seal the Reiki energy into your body as we come to an end, feeling refreshed. Your auras are glowing. Lovely.
Now you can stay relaxed on the floor or if you've been sitting, wherever you've been, you can just sit and relax and just enjoy the Reiki energy as it moves through you. There's absolutely no rush. Well, before I say goodbye, I just thought I would pull a tarot card for us just to see what messages Source has for us something that we need to be mindful of as we move forward with our day. If you're watching this at night, something for you to think of as you get ready for bed. So I got the Justice card. You can see. It's not focusing right now. Don't know why, but there we go. Uh -huh. Okay, we almost got it. There we go. Justice. So when I get the justice card, I usually take it as the end of what you may have thought was an unfair cycle. Sometimes it could be that this cycle was necessary for you to go through. This experience was necessary for you to go through. If you're one that believes in karma, then this was definitely something that you were meant to go through so that you can repair a karma. A past karma in your life but at the end of it you have come out of it with balance and clarity and discernment and an absolute trust in your ability to navigate difficult situations if you look here there is a sword in one hand and a scale in the other so the scale usually represents having balance and a sword usually represents clarity and mental clarity to be exact so it's like balancing out the emotional body and the mental body it's like finding unison within yourself within your body within your life and just stepping into a new frequency saying goodbye to the old karmic frequency and saying hello to a new frequency where you are guided in balance guided in absolute wisdom absolute knowing of yourself and just being able to trust that whatever situations that may come your way you know exactly what to do you know exactly what is going to be the right answer for you and so on that note i just want to bid you guys farewell and i do hope to see you in another video remember if you have enjoyed this freaky treatment and you'd like to stay updated so when i post more videos then you can go ahead and subscribe if you let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video so I can know which videos you guys like and which videos you'd like me to make more of and share more of. And as always, if you like the video, you can just give it a thumbs up. It really does help. It really does help. Um, and this is, as I said, a very new journey for me and every little bit of support is welcome and honored and I am extremely grateful to all of you for deciding to tune in. If you are still resting, please enjoy the jungle sounds and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.